Alien Covenant. Now, I went and saw this during this weekend. Always a great excuse to get a huge popcorn and a salted caramel ice cream. I love it. The movie, in short, was good. It was very good, to be honest with you. However, there are things that I dislike about this film, and I can't mention them until the very end, because, alert, there are spoilers. I cannot talk about what I dislike about this movie without the spoilers, and there are a few things, you know, that just don't sit very well with me, but in the long run, it's a good movie. It's a sequel to Prometheus. It actually takes place 10 years after the events of Prometheus. It does explain a little bit about what happened with Dr. Elizabeth Shaw and David. In fact, it explains pretty much everything what happened with Dr. Elizabeth Shaw and David. Still a prequel to the original Alien film, as a lot of you will know. And the movie is about a crew and thousands of people who are setting out to colonize a planet that has been researched and has been deemed to be safe to live on. It's very similar to Earth. They're on the way. Something malfunctions on the ship because of some electromagnetic wave that hits the ship and a couple pods malfunction where people are in hypersleep, of course. Uh, a couple of the crew members die. The rest of the crew are awakened and... The thing is, they're seven years away from this planet, and by coincidence, they find another planet nearby, which is only a couple of weeks away, which seems habitable, and it seems very similar to Earth. However, they conveniently miss this planet, never did any research on it. They researched this other planet, which they're thinking about bypassing now, because no one's too keen to get back into these pods for another seven years, because they've already malfunctioned, and two of their friends were, you know, fried to death. So, no one's too keen to get into these pods, and the crew basically decides, or the captain decides that they'll go and check out this other habitable looking planet that comes up on the radar. Only one crew member I think kind of disagrees. She wasn't, didn't, very, didn't fit well with her. She wanted to stick to the mission, but you know, I probably wouldn't want to get back in those pods either. I don't want to get freaking burnt alive like a couple of the crew members did. I'm already saying too much. Anyway, moving on. They land on this planet and obviously as you guys probably saw in the trailer, things aren't exactly as perfect as they first seem. You know, there, there's human vegetation on this planet. They find wheat uh, planted there. Someone's obviously been to this planet before and, and planted human vegetation. So, yeah, things are looking good so far until, as you saw in the trailer, someone steps on a spore and some dust and shit goes in the air. And then, boom, <laughs> people are infected. When they're infected, we are introduced to a different type of alien that bursts out of people's backs instead of their chest. Now, this isn't a xenomorph. These are white type of aliens that are introduced early on in the film. That's what I'm telling you. You know, I'm not going to reveal too much, but you'll, you'll see this all very early on in the film. And these white aliens basically come from these spores. So, later in the film we find out the origin of the Xenomorph. So the Xenomorph is kind of a combination of this, this alien that comes out of the spore that can infect people and then burst out of the back. So obviously Xenomorph is like some sort of different combination of this, this alien out of the spore. And I can't reveal any more than that because it'll spoil the entire movie for you. If you've seen the movie, we can discuss it in a moment in the spoilers section, which is just upcoming. After I, after I score the movie, if you don't want to know any more about it, just tune out, press stop, don't watch anymore. If you want to hear more, you know, if you're not fussed about spoilers, or if you've seen the film and you want to hear what I have to say, what I didn't like about the film particularly, then stick around. But... That's basically, in a nutshell, what the film is about. I can't really say much more without revealing too much and spoiling it for you. So, on the Bannock score of 13, I would rate Alien Covenant a well-deserved 10. And that 10 could have been a lot higher if they kind of stuck to a different path, especially after Prometheus. I kind of felt like Prometheus was for nothing now, but I'm going to talk about that in a moment. So, that's it for the movie. Let's talk about the spoilers. If you don't want to talk about spoilers, I will give you a moment to leave. Okay, what I didn't like about the film. It's set 10 years after the events of Prometheus. And it turns out that David, the evil android from part one, who was just ahead. Elizabeth Shaw escaped this planet with David. 
decided to put him back together, even though he was fucking evil in Prometheus, for some reason decided to put him back together. He's got a, a body now, so he's all, all back together. Who knows where she found like a human body or how she put him back together. We don't know. She's on this alien planet and somehow managed to put an android back together without the technology required. I don't know, it's just crazy. That's the thing about this film, it's crazy. Some of the things that occur, you'll just be like, are you fucking serious? How is that possible? Why did he stick his face in the egg when he was asked to have a closer look and the fucking face hugger came out and fucking jumped right at him? The captain never trusted David and David asked him to look directly in this egg. Oh, it's okay, he won't harm you. And woof, face hugger, of course. Well, we all fucking saw it coming. Why would you not fucking trust somebody and then look at a fucking disturbed looking fucking egg just to get fucking face hug what the fuck anyway it turns out david is creating the xenomorphs elizabeth shaw put him back together he ended up killing her we see her body and that is revealed that david is creating xenomorphs he's got this little uh secret room where he's got these eggs we never find out how he's made these eggs like seriously there are so many plot holes in this movie. There were many plot holes in Prometheus, but it, it created really interesting discussion amongst other sci-fi fans. Like, there was a few friends that I had discussions with. We all had different theories, you know? We, we all felt that some plot holes led to different outcomes, you know? The, the possibilities were endless. This is just kind of more ridiculous. Like, you think... Where the hell did David pull these eggs out of? You know, is there a queen? You know, we never find out if there's a queen. You'd think that maybe a queen burst out of Elizabeth Shaw, but that wasn't the case. You know, she wasn't used for, for an alien to come out of her. It's just, it, it gets a little bit ridiculous in, in that sense. Like, where is David getting these eggs from? You know, we never find out. Is he laying them? How, how can you possibly create an egg with a face hugger in it? So the eggs must be coming from somewhere. And I'm hoping this isn't the entire story of the origin. You know, a lot of diehard fans, not mentioning any names, Angry Joe, but they're upset because the origin of the Xenomorph is revealed and it's kind of lame. Like David is behind all this. And we don't even find out exactly how he's doing it. So I'm hoping that the origin actually isn't the entire origin. I'm hoping that it's revealed that there was a queen on this planet or something like that uh, laying these eggs. I, I hope that there's more to it. You know, it it's pretty stupid that these eggs are just there. We don't find out how, where the eggs came about from. And then the end. Are you fucking serious? There's Walter, who's an android that's identical to David. They look exactly the same, except Walter's... You know, an upgraded version of an android and he's a good guy. Whereas David's fucking evil. He was evil then. He was put back together. He killed Elizabeth Shaw. He's fucking evil now. And <laughs> they kept saying, we cannot let David off this planet. We, whatever we do, we must keep David here. David and Walter have a showdown in the film. And basically we're led to believe... First, it looks like Walter is killed off. Then he comes back and kicks the shit out of David. And we're led to believe that Walter kills David. So... We see Walter running to the spaceship at the end. That we never saw. What we saw was Walter. It looked like he was victorious in the fight against David, but we didn't actually see him kill him. At the end, when there's a cut scene, and we don't actually see Walter kill David. You see Walter running out into the spaceship because shit's going down. They're about to leave the planet. And I knew. I turned around and said to the person I was at the movies with, I said, I bet you any fucking money, and everyone would know this. You'd all know this. I said, I bet you David swapped clothes with Walter, cut off his freaking hand, or pulled it off somehow to make it look like he suffered the same injury, and it's actually David on the ship. And these fucking idiot crew members didn't check before they, they fucking took off, or once they were... Once they left the planet, they, they didn't check whether this was actually David. They fucking, the androids look exactly the same. They're identical androids. Wouldn't you have any suspicions? Are you serious? Oh, man. The movie, some of the bits in the movie that are poorly written just piss me off so much. It's a great film, but some things are so obvious to us that it's just upsetting that they're insulting our intelligence. Like, if we know what's going on... The fucking crew members will be thinking the same thing. They're scientists for fuck's sake. These are probably the most intelligent people that were on Earth and they couldn't figure out to check out whether it was actually Walter and not David. Like, two identical androids? Are you serious? Uh, there's a lot of bits like that that I dislike. I didn't like that pretty much Prometheus doesn't matter now. It's like all of the events in Prometheus don't mean shit because... 
10 years later, Elizabeth Shaw stupidly decided to put David back together. I don't know why. He was evil and fucking Prometheus. He was just a head. Conveniently, she put him back together somehow. And he's evil now. And people still fucking trust him. He tells the captain, have a closer look at the egg. When it's burst open, you can see fucking the face hugger's tail and shit swirling around in there. Would you put your face in there? When the captain already stated he doesn't trust David. It's just like, the movie insults our intelligence a few times. But then again... It is a movie, you know, it's it's a bit of harmless fun. It's like saying Fast and the Furious isn't realistic. Of course it's not realistic, it's a fucking movie, you know, we want to be entertained. So, in that sense, I guess I can turn a blind eye, but, you know, I kind of roll my eyes back and think, you know, are you for real? Like, you, you definitely could have written that a few of those parts a lot better, you know. The, the, they are insulting our intelligence. These scientists <laughs> should know a hell of a lot better. But, you know, other than that... Absolutely enjoyable film. It deserves a 10. It could have got like up there to a 12 if it wasn't for those fucking stupid bits. And I don't know why they decided to go down the path that they did. Why Ridley Scott decided to just pretty much disregard the events of Prometheus and just kill off Elizabeth Shaw. Maybe she didn't want to be in the movie and they had to go down this path. I don't know. I was ultra disappointed after everything she went through and survived and you know got off that planet and then why the hell would she decide to put david back together i understand she might need david you know to get off the planet and to survive but seriously putting him back together like how he must have convinced her to do so but seriously like again you know a scientist shouldn't be that stupid she just kept him as a fucking head and that was it but anyway they're my thoughts of the movie that's my review it's a 10 out of 13. Boys and girls, you must watch this. If you're a big Alien fan, or if you're a fan of the series, you'll definitely like this movie. If you like Prometheus, you'll like it. My favorite movie in the series was Aliens, and then Prometheus is probably up there as my second favorite, together with Alien, the original. Didn't really like part three. Resurrection was not bad, actually. I didn't mind that whatsoever. But Alien Covenant probably takes the spot of the third favorite in the series for me personally anyway or it's probably aliens then prometheus and alien and this one will be like number three or number four whatever having said that i've got to watch it again and really just determine whether or not it's as stupid as it was the first time i saw it some of those bits but regardless boys and girls if you like the alien movies go and check this out (laughs) 